What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm here with my preview and predictions for Elimination Chamber 2022, man. We will be live streaming it on the main page. So, be on the lookout for that Saturday morning. It should be a good time, hopefully. We'll see how all the matches play out. But I'm going to give my preview and predictions, as I always do, right before the pay-per-view. So, let's get this started. Some of these matches I didn't even know were happening because, once again... I do not watch Monday Night Raw or SmackDown like that. I usually just watch the clips and highlights because the overall shows are not that good. And uh, no. <laughs> so let's get right into this. So we got The Miz versus Rey Mysterio. Didn't know that was happening. Do I care for this match? No. Who do I think is going to win? Probably The Miz, most likely. Only because The Miz has taken, uh, I believe, two losses to edge so he's already lost that few so i'm sure the miz i guess can use a win i really don't care for the miz i love Rey mysterio but i do not care for the miz i think the miz is just kind of boring to me he has great promo skills but i just don't care for his matches so uh yeah uh, i think the miz will win there then we got drew mcintyre versus madcap moss falls count anywhere of course drew wants to get his revenge storyline wise uh they uh took drew off well they you know put him on the shelf for a few weeks per storyline wise so I, I can see this happening will this be a fun match maybe maybe entertaining match uh it's in, i can see it being somewhat entertaining uh i have drew winning this they obviously need to build up drew give him some momentum more momentum so i do have drew winning this match we're flying through the smackdown tag team championship the usos versus the viking raiders i think this match will be good um, I think this will be something a little bit of a nice little fresh up, uh, fresh tag team matchup. Uh, I'm going with the Usos retaining. I think it just makes sense for them to still retain the championships, but I do think this will be a solid tag team. So, uh, tag team match. I'm going to go with the Usos here. It just makes sense for him to have the, for them to have the belts. The only time I see them losing the belts is when actually, that's when you start to see the downfall of the bloodline. I don't see them losing the belts anytime soon. It makes sense for them to have the belt because they're part of the bloodline. So, Usos will retain SmackDown Championship. Ronda Rousey and he, Naomi versus Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville. Her and Naomi had a fantastic match. Probably one of the best matches in her career on, I think it was last week, SmackDown, or the week before last. I'm not sure. Um, but I heard she had a fantastic match. Uh, I believe it was against Charlotte Flair, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I have Ronda and Naomi winning this. Do I care for this match? Not really. <laughs> you would think I would care. I don't. I don't even care for Ronda and Charlotte at WrestleMania this year. Unless they really enhance the feud. I don't give a damn about this. I just want Ronda to go out there, kick Charlotte around and call it a day. I just don't care. But I do think Ronda and Naomi will win. And hopefully Naomi is able to have... Put on another uh, another great show, uh, a showcase, and I didn't get a chance to watch the match. I may go check it out, but I heard a lot of great things that Naomi really showed out. So hopefully she's able to really put on a good show, and it's a nice rub with her and Ronda Rousey teaming up. And you know, you never know. Maybe Naomi will get a bigger push sometime later on this year. We'll see. But I have Ronda and Naomi winning this match. Now, we have the uh, Women's Elimination Chamber, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Dewdrop, Nikki Ash, and Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss returns without the Fiend gimmick. I guess, she, you know, she's been having them therapy sessions and now she's getting better or whatever. Do I really care? No. Um, the only person I want to win this match is obviously Bianca Belair. That's the only person... I want to win this match. Bianca Belair, she needs to win this match so she can go on to face Becky Lynch uh, at WrestleMania this year because uh, I do think Becky's going to retain against Lita. But Bianca Belair needs to win it so she can go face Becky Lynch and get her title back. Or what is technically not her title because they swapped titles, but get her win back that she also deserves uh i want to say um charlotte and becky ended up swapping titles um but either way she needs to get that win back from SummerSlam because that was atrocious so i'm looking forward to that i think bianca belair is gonna have a great showing so i'm all for that and then of course raw women's championship becky lynch 
versus Lita. You know who's winning this match. I, I don't even have to tell you. You know who's winning this match. Becky Lynch. I I, I don't care about, about this match either. And I like Lita. I just don't care. I, I, I don't give two Fs. Uh, will it be good? I hope so. I'm hoping it, it you know, surprises me, uh, surpasses my expectations. But going into this match with a meh, I know who's going to win it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give this to Becky Lynch. Obviously, she retains. And hopefully, we get Bianca Belair and Becky. That's the match I'm most excited about happening potentially at WrestleMania. Please, WWE, do it right. All right. Let's go to the men's elimination chamber. Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, it's Riddle, and AJ Styles, man, in the men's elimination chamber for the WWE Championship. I'm not going to lie to you. Do I think Brock will win? He's in the match. Possibly, most likely. A lot of people are on betting on him. I can see him winning. I'm going to have to switch this up. Who I want to win, who I think is going to win. Who I want to win would be fucking AJ Styles. I think that would be amazing to tell. AJ Styles winning the WWE Championship once again. And then have him feud with Edge at WrestleMania. Take my motherfucking money. Take it. Or you can go Matt Riddle. Granted, I wouldn't put the title on him so soon. Because you know he would feud with Randy. But I wouldn't put it on him soon. I would wait to probably SummerSlam probably to do that. But I think that would be the better better route. Have AJ win the Elimination Chamber. No one would expect it. Have AJ win. Then have him face Edge. I would have Edge win just one more time because I think this is the best run Edge has ever had, like, in my opinion, in a long time. Like, he was fantastic when he was a heel, feuding with John Cena. But this... The older grizzled edge coming back. This is easily one of his best runs, bro. He has been fantastic in doing everything that he's been doing. Of course, the mid feud, the Miz feud was kind of mid, but that's because he was feuding with the Miz. Anybody else, that shit would have been great. He's been fantastic. He's been killing it in the ring since he's been back. I love it. I love this version of Edge. And I would love to see him get one more title opportunity, one more title shot. One more go with the WWE Championship. And then you can drop it to Matt Riddle. Have Matt Riddle beat Edge. And the story is there because Matt Riddle beat Randy Orton's old tag partner. Matt Riddle was able to do something that Randy Orton couldn't do. And that would be that would be a great story to tell. Y'all can't tell me. The, the long-term booking of Edge winning the championship, defending the championship on Monday Night Raw and all this other stuff, Matt Riddle gets the opportunity to face him some point this year. Matt Riddle gets the job done, and maybe you can have Randy Orton not so sure if he can do it because he knows Edge, and Matt Riddle gets the job done. Maybe there's like a, a tournament-style setup, and Matt Riddle is the one to beat Randy Orton to face Edge for the title and then have... Edge dropped the title to Matt Riddle and then have Randy Orton just pissed about it. That would be great to have Randy turn on him. Oh, my God. That would be entertaining as hell. Long-term booking. I'm just saying. Comment down below if you let me know if y'all would like that idea. But that's who I would want to win. Who I think is going to win? Fucking Brock. Because they're going with this title versus title match. They've been teasing it. They've been talking about it too many times. They're going with this title versus title match. I think Brock is winning it. My only issue I have with Brock winning it, why in God's green earth did you have him lose it in the first place? You still could have had the title versus title match. You won it. And then whoever won the Royal Rumble, they get to... They get to choose. You had the title versus title match happen night one, and maybe night two, whoever wins the Royal Rumble faces the winner from night one. You could do so many things. Or you can have the person who won wins the Royal Rumble face both of you guys. So it's a triple threat title versus title match. There are just so many ways. There is no reason that you wasted. You wasted a spot 
in the Royal Rumble to give the opportunity to Brock. So Brock, we know is facing Roman for him to get another opportunity to face, to get the title back. You might as well just get the title on him. It was a waste of time. Hot potato in the WWE Championship. Like it's a plastic belt. But that's who I think will win. Who I want to win? AJ Styles. Who will win? Probably Brock Lesnar. And, of course, the match that we're all so anticipating. The Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns versus fucking Goldberg. Hmm. Y'all know who I want to win this match. There's, there's no, there's, this, this shouldn't even be a question. Roman, squash. I honestly would have this match be at the beginning of the show. Get this shit over with. Squash match. About 5, 10, 15 minutes. Both of them hit some spears. Roman gets the upper hand. Send this nigga packing. That's it. I just, I just know. For whatever dumb reason that they have this motherfucker lose. If they have Roman lose this match, bro. I don't care. There should be no Brock interference. There should be no interference. Nothing of the sort. If this motherfucker loses this match to Oberg, bro. I don't even want to think how upset I'll be because it is dumb and it doesn't make sense. His title reign should not be given to him. No. No. No, I'm sorry. The bigger match is obviously Roman versus Brock, title versus title. That's the bigger match. Goldberg does not need to be involved in that at all. So, Roman squashes Goldberg. We go home. That's it. That's my preview and predictions for Elimination Chamber 2022. Comment down below. Let me know who do you guys think will win? Who do you guys think will lose? Um, and also, what you guys think about my my booking, my fantasy booking of AJ Styles winning the WWE Championship to face Edge at WrestleMania. Edge winning the WWE Championship and then ultimately dropping the title to Matt Riddle, which ultimately creates a feud between Matt Riddle and Randy Orton. What do you guys think about? I think that shit would be fantastic, and I hope that happens. So comment down below, let me know, but I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing. We're almost at 70K. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.